Eh, pues yo quiero ver que se vaya helado, güey. ¿Sí se va helado o no? Puede que sí. A ver. Todo depende de cómo jaló el trabajo que le hiciste. Ok, vamos a ver. Pero aquí te le echarse con porque luego van a decir que no quemó. So what's up guys? What are we about to do, Piggy? I'm gonna go get some fucking turkeys. Alright guys, so we about to go pick up la Jenny 69 porque oh, yeah, ya está lista. That's what we're gonna do. Yes sir, so we about to go pick up Jenny 69. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Lento oscuro. Necesito cortar el pelo. Lento oscuro. Marihuana seguro. En la Will Block Tom Wing. Easy Clusters. Sí. A ver, está, está un puñetón bien feo, ¿verdad, güey? ¿Dónde? Mira lo que estás ahí, para torta el dedo. Ah, mira el espin a la verga. Mira el espinón que traes, güey. Su puta Oye. madre, Rudolph. Todavía no llega diciembre, espérate. ¿Qué es eso, güey? Hombre, no sé qué pedo, se me está quedando skin y feo, güey. Uy, demasiado, güey. No me toque, quedando no chido. ¿Cuántos los tuyos, güey? ¿Te toqué? Ahora te chido yo. ¿Cuántos los tuyos? ¿Quieres, güey? En señales que también está el Luis Betón, tú. Claro. ¿Cuántos los tuyos? ¿Cuántos los tuyos? Todo derecho. ¿Cuántos los tuyos, güey? ¿Vamos por la chichona o qué? Vamos a ir por la Jenny 69, you know? So we're gonna pick up Jenny 69, so we had to come with the Buchon vibes, you know? Buchona truck. Mucho en el dueño. Ah, le llamo la mera hora. 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 Ah, le llamo la Big shout out to my boy David from Fat Work Inc. Tal placazo. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. La chichona. La chichona. La J69. Y los nipos parados. Oh no. We're back at the shop, we're back in the lab. We're doing a little bit house cleaning. Throwing away all the boxes that we be using. We got the Jenny 69 right here in the flesh. Shout out to Fabwork Inc. My boy got down. My boy got down, got down. Plain and simple. No mucho de caca, 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 caca. Plain and simple. Four inch and a cooler. All right, guys. So next week we're gonna be doing the fuel system on it. We're gonna be wiring the truck, and uh, we're gonna start building the transmission for it. I need to order a converter. If not, this weekend we're going to a track rental. I'm gonna go run the maroon truck on Saturday. If I run what I want to run on Saturday on the maroon truck. I am going to be taking out the transmission of the maroon truck and using the converter on this truck. Or maybe the whole trans will transfer. I didn't want to put the trans brake on it, but maybe we'll just put the trans brake on it. And we're going to go 400 on the maroon truck. But there's an event I really, really, really want to take this truck to. It's going to be December 4th, I believe. 
and uh, that's like a week away, I think, or two weeks away. I really want to make that event. If it's not possible to make that event, I really want to go to Mexico and race on the 11th of December. So I'm making one of those events in this truck. So stay tuned for the builds, guys. We're gonna start on it this week. We're gonna, we're gonna try to finish this one up. We're gonna try to finish up Freddy's. Um, so I'm gonna start doing Freddy's Turbo Kit as well. And uh, we're gonna start off 2022 with two bad football force. Street kit. What's up, guys? So today's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all. I'm very thankful for all my supporters, all my customers, all my people that are riding along with me and supporting this journey of us on YouTube and with the shop and everything. So I'm very thank you, thankful for all my family and all of y'all. Um, I didn't upload a video yesterday, but uh, I have a little video right there, like a little sneak peek of the Jenny 6 9 but today, right now, is Thanksgiving. Well, it's already about, it's midnight already, so it's Friday. Uh, and we're gonna go creep around. We're gonna go see how the lines get, like on Black Friday, see if people still be fighting and shit. We're gonna go explore. And that was Panilo. What's up, guys? It's Friday. What are we doing? Going in. Going to the dealership. Vamos para la agencia. A ver que hay, o a ver que se pega. Y si no hay, a ver, a ver que nos, nos sueltan. A ver, a ver que nos sueltan. En pagos nos traemos el tren. Pero nos el avión presidencial lo agarramos a la verga. Sí, pero nos conformamos con uno que nos dé. <laughs> so, guys, we just put up. That's the only one they have, but that's not the color I'm looking for. But let's check it out. Uh, Alright, guys, so we're here at a gay family auto. Buick and GMC. What's your name, bro? John. We're here with John. He's about to be ordering How's going? Chug. We're going to order it and customize it a little bit. So stay tuned. Go with the black diamond, you're going to get the trailer cam, uh, the multi pro, the kicker system that goes in the tailgate. Okay. Uh, you also get 20 inch black wheels. Okay. And then it's going to automatically come with a technology package, an ultimate package, okay. and a power center roof. Four thousand dollars for a window tip and nitrogen filled tires. What you think? <laughs> and wheel nuts. Mucha saliva. Qué pedo esto va todo bien. Tienen que firme ahí. Como. Y por un window tip, güey. Where we? Yeah. All right, guys. So we just put up to Wicked Fab right here in uh, Alvin, Texas. It's Alvin or Dickinson? No. Alvin. And uh, Homo right here hooked me up with some control arms, upper and lower, lightweight for my turbo truck for the maroon truck. He's also gonna be building me for my seventy one for the Jenny, for Jenny six nine, and for Chilin's truck and for Freddie's truck. We're gonna be doing a. Uh, his front kit on the truck with lightweight spindles. So this is the first set that we got from him. This one's gonna go on the maroon truck probably today because we're gonna go to the track road tomorrow. Hopefully we can put them on today. And uh, what's your number, bro? 832-752-5434. Uh, okay, so yeah, for any, yeah, he does turbo kits, um, yeah. custom fabrication, yeah. he does control arms. So hit him up for anything of that. And uh, it looks nice. I mean, I like the quality of the, of the kit. It looks really nice. We're gonna put them on today. A lot of people are still trying to figure out how to uh, how to make the aluminum shit work, and man, we got it all figured out. If okay, save okay. the time and just buy the kit, man. It's we got it all figured out. Everything you need to uh, to get the aluminum spindle bolted on, whether it's um, factory control arms or aftermarket shit, we can make it bolted. All right, all right. All right, guys. So Steven right here is in the show. This sick ass cyclone he got. I, I didn't want to go, uh, I had to go air shifter because, man, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. Yeah, all-wheel drive yeah, and yeah. then trying to shift, it's going to be a motherfucker, so. Once I go 400 on my truck, I'm going to put an air shifter too. Yeah. Fuck that yeah. shifting bullshit. Yeah, man. And then when four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive shit, it's, it's tough, dude, you know? Damn, you put both turtles on this side, it looks fucking yeah. sick. Yeah, so it, 
pretty much everything made in house, custom headers. Um, man, I actually want to start making these headers and sell them, but man, they're going to be expensive. It just, I'm not sure if people want to pay because there's a lot of time. I mean, you gotta pay, you gotta pay to play. So yeah, it's dope shit, man. It looks really good it's compared to the basic forward header uh -huh. shit that you can buy. You know, you can buy shit for. 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to they crack yeah. the, the wheels. If I ever redo my kit on, on my maroon truck, I want to do some custom headers for right now. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's dope. Which I think I am going to redo it because... Um, the They're Gen 1 ball bearings. Okay, um, okay. But they, uh, man, they, they, they make some power. Uh, they made they made 1350 on a 408. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They That's the thing bad. about... Uh, so small, man. They do. They do, man. <laughs> a lot of people are like, man, they're small. Like, they, 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 they make, make some, the power. They make power and... And for the street and all-wheel drive, they come off fast, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure on a 4.8, they, they spool like nothing, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, custom air to water system. Um, custom air to water, air cooler, everything. Okay, uh, okay. Ice tank in the back. Um, I love this truck, bro. It just... Foot. Yeah, it's still all-wheel drive, 480, custom output shaft to, to accept the transfer case. Okay, okay. Uh, limited slip up front. Typical fuel system shoes. Damn, them plates. So they work full size Chevy and S10. And the S10 one, I had to go around the steering shaft. So that last runner goes down and back uh -huh. that way. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some of these. Hell yeah, man. They're, they're dope, man. So guys, we just picked up, well, we went to the dealership, we ordered the truck, they said it was an eight to 12 week wait. Uh, we went with the Denali, the, what color is it? Cajun red or? Cajun Chai red. Something red, cause it's maroon. Uh, we got the ultimate package, the fully loaded truck. The truck's gonna be a 2022. As the, then we came, that was over there in, uh, what, Dickinson? Dickinson. We ordered it in Dickinson, and then we came to Alvin to pick up uh, the control arms for my uh, truck for the maroon one. He's also gonna be putting me the control arms with lightweight spindles and everything and brake kit for uh, my 4x4, for Jenny 69 for Freddy's 4x4, for Comandante Borghese's truck as well, and for Easy Cluster's truck as well. So he's bidding me four more sets of those lightweight coilover and custom control arm kits for the 99206 over autos. Um, big shout out to uh, Wicked Fab, Steven. Now we got our way back to the shop because it is Friday. Tomorrow we are booked in for Houston Raceway Park uh, for a track rental. We're gonna go, we're gonna put some new tires on the maroon truck, change the oil, change spark plugs, fill it up with gas and put it on the trailer so we can head that way tomorrow morning. Este, and what we gotta go get up a little, some jobs we got out there right there. We gotta, we gotta finish some trucks we got there right there as well. Este, ¿qué pedo? ¿Qué vamos a comer o qué? No sé, pero tengo un puta de la verga. No mames. Sí, güey. Okay. No, me, no me digas que algo healthy, güey, porque me conquistó, güey. Guys, I'm on a strict, 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 no carb diet. I've been at it for. It's about to be two months. Yeah. It's about to be two months. I've been on a strict, no carb diet, no beer, and uh, no oh, coke. Okay. I've been drinking nothing but water for the last two months and I haven't ate tortilla or bread either. Um, on Sundays, I eat a little bit of french fries because you know it's french fries, I gotta eat some french fries. But just on Sundays. Yeah, uh, and I don't know if y'all know this or anything, but <laughs> <laughs> it's the, I've lost, I think, I'm like at 39 or 40 pounds, which I lost them since the first month one month and one week, I think I was already down like 40 pounds or 38 pounds. And now I think I'm already to the point where I'm still losing weight, but it's just like a pound or two a week. It's not like how I started at the beginning. So I think I'm gonna start working out now. I don't know. He, just started... he does nothing but CrossFit. Comandante Burguesa. Uh, Comandante Burguesa has been hitting the gym for the last three weeks, every day, nonstop. Crudo, no crudo, va. I just been eating healthy. Dice, dice que se mira bien. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah guys so right now I, I think i'm in the point where i'm still dropping weight but it's just like a pound or two a week and uh i need to speed it up a little bit more i want to lose i think another 20 
para poder comer tamales el 24. Sí, porque el 24 de diciembre, cuando vamos con Mexicles, voy a llegar barriendo con todo el rancho, voy a llegar barriendo con los hot dogs, los hot dogs tortilla de harina, piratas, vironga, coca, todo lo que se me atraviesa va a valer verga. Me voy a comer la vaca y me lo voy a quedar viendo el becerro también. So I need to lose another 20 pounds. So yeah, just to give you a little update on the fit life or healthy life that we've been doing for the past two months already. Y pues este es puro crossfit, se pasa de verga. Este, este come lo que sea. Con una vaca y en una semana chingó su madre y rebajo la verga. Yeah, this does nothing but crazy, crazy. But anyways, hey, wow. what is, uh... we'll catch her right out the shop. We put up the taters. This is a problem with being in Pasadena. Nos topamos aquí todos, mira aquí está Leo. Ahí está adentro, ahí está adentro, está monchando. Un little salmon, grilled salmon. No potato, though. Oh, yes. Let's ya bien, ya bien comido, gracias a la. So, guys, we have a customer truck here that caught on fire so he brought it to us because the truck uh, burnt the intake burnt the fan burnt a lot of things so we went ahead and pressure washed the frame for him and we gave it a little paint uh, we are gonna be putting a new harness on this truck new trans lines new radiator new fans we're gonna be going with a holly intake um, and we're gonna be also changing the gaskets on his motor and some sensors because the motor looked a little bit rough and a lot of residue from the fire went in so we're gonna clean up the motor a little bit um, we already took off all the residue that it had inside it had a, a lot of this from, i guess from the fire extinguisher and we're gonna go ahead and put new head gas on it check out the heads uh make sure that all the valves are good and we're gonna put our gaskets on it and new motor mounts as well. That's one of the little projects we got going on. On this bay, we're waiting for the converter from Yank. He hasn't got here, the trans is done. He just went on the converter. This is one thing that, this is one thing that we have to deal with right now with parts and other companies. Everything's crazy. We don't know what they're going through. They don't know what we're going through. So we just gotta be understandful of the other companies as well. Uh, it's Friday. I'm about to bring the maroon truck over here. Um, we're gonna change the oil spark plugs. And we were gonna do the front suspension on it, but I couldn't find the coilovers here. The front QE ones, so I'm about to order them. So I'm gonna just take it like that. It'll still go like a 1360 foot. I just really wanna go into the one twos, but we are gonna be getting into them pretty soon. Also, we have Jenny 69 here. I'm gonna give you a little bit, another look. Cause I still have the vlog from Thursday. I didn't upload cause it was, it was, we, we were really busy. So we didn't really didn't record much, but here's how I can see it. I thought of Jenny 69. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment. Let me flip the camera. Let me know what y'all think, guys. The, um, this truck, I'm getting really, really attached to it because it's nowhere near done yet and it looks like a bad bitch I have cuenta que están viendo el turbo de la Piggy I have cuenta Piggy's turbo kit looks the same right Piggy? ah ok ¿Lo also guys we're doing some cleaning up in the shop oh this is all the boxes that we be accumulating through the month and stuff like that from all the parts we order all the transmission parts we buy from everything 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 from intakes to transmission parts to everything we use here in the shop we're doing some cleaning already before the year ends. Otra vez, recalentado. Ayer no comí. No mames. No, mamá, me quiere today. Ah, ok. Todos los huertos estaban con las suegras con las ayer. Ah, ok. Ahora toca la coña más. Ah, ok.
big sis, la big sister, la little sister. So there is a track run on the model guys at Houston Raceway. I uh, haven't changed the oil or the spark plug on the truck since we put the new motor on it. Um, wait, no, I think I did. I think I did the braking oil, but it's the same plug still. The ones that they got dynoed on and ran on already. So I'm gonna just check, I'm gonna change the oil, change spark plugs. Um, gonna make sure that all the boost lines are good, that none of them melted. See if we can perfect anything before tomorrow. It's running really good. It's been running really good. I've been driving on the street. Um, just make sure everything's on tip top shape and uh, load it up on the trailer tonight because the rental is tomorrow, but there's like a 90% chance of rain, but it's after 2 p.m. supposedly, and the rental's from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I think it should be good. Um, hopefully nobody backs out because there was a list of 40 racers but a lot of them are like, oh, it's in the rain. I don't want to risk it. I need, I need all day to test. I just want to go and make a hit, make one or two hits. I don't care. It's $200 per truck. So, I mean, I get one hit, two hits. I'm, I'm okay with that. I just want to get a quarter mile hit. Um, so, they posted on the page right now that they needed at least 20 people to confirm. So, hopefully, some people will say, fuck it, and let's go. Mm -hmm. So, we're about to change the plugs and the oil. See how it's looking. It should be pretty good. I mean, it's just been driving here and from the shop, doing a few burnouts on the street and shit like that. But uh, we'll catch it right now. What's up, Danny? Also, guys, I'm going to go buy some new tires right now as well because I don't know y'all seen the burnout I did the other day. I mean, they're still good. They're still okay, I guess you can say. Not really. But... It's gonna be a red nose, and be probably the last one of the year. So I don't want to go and be like, oh, I'm not hooking because of tires. So I'm gonna go buy some new tires right now as well. And maybe give it a wash. But yeah, guys, the truck is still full interior. No road cage. Just missing the center corner because I put the shifter right there. But street truck. Real street truck. Street truck. Well, guys, this is how the oil came out on the maroon truck. So this is technically the braking oil, I guess you can say, because, boy, it looks kind of dirty to me. I'm, now I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, no pasa nada, still got a good oil pressure. So when uh, we put the motor on the truck, we took it straight to the dyno, it put down horsepower, and we took it to the track the next day with one pass and we changed the oil and the oil was very, very clean, it looked like new. So now this oil has been in there for two months now and I've been driving down the street and doing burnouts and shit. So maybe this is just the wear. That's what I'm gonna tell myself so I can feel better about it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be all right. We're gonna send it anyways. It's still got 70 oil pressure. No <laughs> fierro, it's just, Real dirty. We don't got no shavings. Pero, give me an excuse, bitch. Give me an, give me an excuse to go all out. No nah. excuse. No? No. Okay. Así para te eso, para eso andamos en esto. Okay. Es no, todo pues, o nada. Ya, ya si, no creo que mame, güey. Pero ya si mama, pues le ponemos un Billy Black. No, pero eso... Ahorita lo vamos a juntar aquí para asegurarnos. Sí, ahorita vamos a acabar las llantas. Me voy a tener una buena. No, ese de guardas para la mía, güey. No, es mucha llanta para la tuya, güey. Para las Pero tres. además quiero que se mire perra, Para wey. las tres libras que traes tú. Pero se va a ir. Psh. Nos vamos a mover, a pegar. ¿Cómo, güey? Se va a raza con las tres libras. Ay. Ah, so I'm going to be inside the Harley screen on it. I lost the fucking, uh, the mount. I had ordered it and it got here like a few weeks ago. And I can't find it right now. I'm going to look for it. This is for the other one, but I had ordered a new, um, brand new stainless one. So we had a little vacuum line issue right here. So we did a quick little fix just for tomorrow. You know, yeah, we redo the vacuum lines and all the air compressor shit. I might put a CO2 bottle on it. Who knows? I like the air compressor because you put it in solo. 
Little Wobbly in 2050. Me he puesto una mine, güey. A las 3 libras. Para que ande bien así, bien, bien lubricada. Para que no jote el DUD lift. Que vea, que me haga por ahí sponsor mota, no tengo mota, por favor, alguien. A <risa> <risa> la verga. Estoy enganchado. ¿Qué traes, güey? No, ya voy a dejar de fumar, güey. Voy, 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 voy a hacer Voy a ser una persona diferente ya, güey. Te voy a abrir un P.O. box, güey. A ver si te quieren mandarle califas. Vas a ser un hombre nuevo. Entrando el año vas a ser un piggy nuevo. No, desde, desde, desde ahorita. Hombre. ¿Y el toque que te acabas de meter ahorita? Porque oh, era CBD. Era de mentiras. Ah, no cuenta. ¿Pero no cuenta? Ok. CBD sí puedo fumar. Sí. Pero se puede no pegar, está bien feo, güey. <risa> sí. No Pero, pega, no pega. como la pinche motita, güey. No pega como la original, la verdad. La Jairo. Pin perra, güey. Pinche motita. Wedding cake. Wedding cake, a la verga. Okay. Sour diesel. Bueno, ah, eso no, esos son de los años no, de los 2000. Pineapple Express. Ah, eso no. Purple Power. Esas, Blue Haze, Purple Haze. Pura exótica. Haze. Wey, pura exótica. Vale, ¿cuál, cuál, ¿Cuál más eventos hay, güey? Venta bacha, venta bacha. Este... ¿Cuál es tu favorita? No, pues siempre que compro, nunca me dicen que es mala compro. <risa> me está metiendo puro CBD también, a lo mejor, güey. Eh, ¿Lo agarran del box nomás o qué? ¿Sabes? Ahí le va. Se le echan a la bolsa. Sí, güey, aquí hay gente de mamá en este mundo, güey. No, güey. Sí, güey. Le vendieron gato por liebre. <risa> pero, pero era gato rinconero, ¿no? ¿Rinconero? Sí. Sí, te apendejó un poquito. No, hombre. Nada. ¿Ni hambre te dio? No. no se me no quitó el hambre la verga porque no, 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 no Me quitó el hambre, dijo. No sirve, entonces. Si no te da hambre, porque no sirve, güey. No, pues ahí, güey. ¿Te voy a traer que mañana o qué? Vamos, sí, cabrón. ¿Dónde ya, güey? Tú cosas que hacer también, güey. Ay. Sí, güey. Man, acá está bloqueando este shock. Estoy vinculado, güey, chile, güey. Ya quiero verlo terminado. Yo también. I wanna see it already. I wanna see the shock already. Dropped. Verga. Aunque se va a caer, voy a hacer yo. Dropped. On the Bogarts all around. All color matched, fender flares, all murdered out. And the turbo kit. I'ma send it to get all ceramic coated black. Everything black, black, black. Black on black. The only chrome you're gonna see on it is gonna be the rims. The little C's and the big C's are yeah. Mira, güey, bien perra ella. Por favor. Mira, tía, güey. Maestro, pisteando. ¿Cuál es la paloma, güey? ¿La paloma cuándo? I got the new tires for the Mamelona. In the morning, I'm gonna go mount them like at 7.30 or 8. We did the oil already. Spark plugs. Está lista, nada más voy a montar las llantas. Alright, uh, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope all of y'all had a happy Thanksgiving with y'all's families and y'all's close ones and y'all's loved ones. Um, I'm sorry for not posting in a few days, but we were, we've been really, really, really busy. So, this video is gonna have like from two days ago and stuff like that and what we did today. Hope y'all like it. Like, subscribe. Share the channel, guys. Like I said, let's try to get to how many subscribers we have? Like 33.6. The goal for me is to get to 40,000. So the goal is to get to 40,000 subscribers by January. So we got like a month and one week. I don't know if it's possible. If it is, I'd be really happy to start off the year with 40,000 subscribers. Also, guys. I've been thinking of, uh, I've been thinking of what to do, you know, for y'all guys that are always here supporting and commenting, and obviously I see the comments and, you know, um, sometimes I go like them and stuff like that right there. I want to see what I can do for like uh, for all my Instagram followers and all y'all subscribers on YouTube, like for since Christmas is around the corner. I want to see, in, uh, you know, I want to see in uh, like 
I want to do like a like an actual giveaway. Like not no y'all buy merch or something like. Like I want to give y'all something from my part, and um, you know, for y'all's kids mm-hmm. or for y'all's family, um, for Christmas presents something like that. So I'm I'm gonna think about some ideas. I have a few ideas, and um, I'll see how we can do it. I mean, probably the thing is it's gonna be like I'm a somebody from the comments. I'm gonna pick somebody random from the comments. I'll let y'all know in the exact video that I'll do it. But uh, we might give something out for Christmas. Papel, chilo. We might give some cash prizes, bueno. or well, in reality, I mean, let, let, let's be let's be for real. I mean, we're 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 all grown here, you know. It'd be nice to do something for the kids. Yeah. So I've been thinking about going to go buy a couple of RC cars, like because I saw the video, everybody liked the RC video of the RC cars. So I might go buy a few RC cars. And I will buy them and I'll choose somebody from the comments or somebody that likes or subscribes and, you know, subscribers, stuff like that. And I will be giving away probably some RC cars for Christmas. Um, no cause, no nothing. Just just a simple like and a simple comment and a simple share. And y'all might be the lucky winner of something. Like I said, I don't know what it is yet. It might be paper or it might be... I, I, I want to do something more for, like, for the kids. So it might be an RC car, stuff like that, so I can give RC cars to your kids or families or nephews or little brothers, whatever. Uh, PlayStation. Oh, yeah. We'll probably give away some PS5s as well. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, and we'll, 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 I'm gonna cabeza and we'll see what, what, what the people like or what the people see. And like I said, I just think the RC cars because y'all like the video a lot. I haven't even used this since that day. It's been right here since. I brought it to the shop to see what we could do to it. But, uh, yeah, guys, so thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on tomorrow's video. Hopefully, the track is still going to be going down. I just talked to the guy from the Houston Raceway. He said that he's going to count how many people are still down because people don't want to go because it's going to rain, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully it is, and if it is, y'all going to get a badass track rental video tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Catch you.